This run-of-the-mill backyard shed becoming a 13-year-old girl's prison after she was allegedly lured from her home in Dallas, Texas and trafficked more than a thousand miles away to Lexington, North Carolina. Her mother, who we are not identifying, recalling the last time she saw her daughter nearly two weeks earlier. The night before, she, she gave us a hug and a kiss. Say goodnight. The suspect, 34 year old Jorge Camacho, now facing several felony charges, including child abduction, human trafficking, and statutory rape of a child under the age of 15. Investigators believe he lured the girl through social media. The con content of the, the chat was consistent with uh, grooming and enticement and he enticed her to actually leave the home where he picked her up in, in the area. Her mother quick to give police her daughter's online activity and accounts. We provided her her Instagram, her Discord, her, her account, that, the game that she was using. This is why it's absolutely imperative that families have usernames and passwords for social media accounts because the mother there was able to show law enforcement that she in fact had been communicating um, with somebody and that person had actually lured her out of the home. Rania Mancarios, author of The Online World, What You Think You Know and What You Don't, warning that online predators are constantly at work. The FBI has released a number. They said that at any given day, there's anywhere from 500,000 to 750,000 predators online looking to target at least 10 children. That's at any given day. She says predators are mostly after content from children, but abductions like this can happen. Investigators in Texas say traffic cameras captured Camacho's vehicle near the teenager's home. They tracked it down to North Carolina, eventually discovering the girl locked away in this shed and arresting Camacho. Camacho's attorney declining to comment on the allegations, but adding, quote, we'll let the criminal justice system handle the matter. Police say the girl did not appear to have physical injuries, though emotionally there's no telling what she lived through. Tonight, she is back home in Texas. Very happy, thankful, uh, glad, big hugs, tears. But law enforcement with a grim warning for other families. I'm very thankful. I thank God that we were able to find this young girl. Uh, it may not be that case forever. And, and what what uh, these children must go through, they don't think what they're, who they're talking to. Just a horrifying story in every aspect. Valerie Castro joins us now from New York. Valerie, do we know any more about the property where that little girl was found? Morgan, we've now learned the suspect was actually living inside the shed where the girl had been locked up. The owner of the property says he'd been living there for the last couple of years. He's a friend of the family, though she never imagined he'd try to keep someone captive there. Camacho made his first court appearance yesterday, and the local sheriff's department says he could potentially face even more charges. Morgan? Valerie, the story frightening for any parent out there. Is there anything more that they can do to try and prevent this from happening from their, to their own children? So our expert says telling your kids not to talk to strangers online might not be all that effective. She says predators spend time studying children that they're targeting and eventually might be able to create a relationship and even establish communication so that it no longer feels like stranger danger. She says parents should routinely ask children not just about their school day and friends in real life, but also ask questions about what they're seeing and doing online and who they're talking to. Morgan. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.